Hey, welcome to Midweek at 3 at th at three and 1. We're in our last week of Christianity, the uh, 101. And next week we begin Lent. And uh, for tonight, though, we're closing this out on serving. Christianity 101, part of being a Christian is serving. And that has been a true focus of the church, but it has also become almost a detriment to the church at times. You see, serving has become the calling card of Christianity. In fact, the Christian church is often identified by how much social service that we can provide, how many people we feed, how many people we clothe, how many homes we repair, how many whatever it is, as long as we're serving and doing. You see, none of that's bad. And Jesus came as a model of the servant, save the, the, the Savior, by wrapping the towel around his waist, washing the disciples' feet, and showing us how to save and serve. See, we don't get to save, but he was saving and serving. The point is, unfortunately, if we go back to our first lesson in this series, Christianity well, the one-on-one, -on -one, the first one, the number one reason Jesus came for God to become incarnate on this earth was to save us from our sins. You see, the church's purpose and social services is nice, but that's what the problem comes. The world has decided that's our job. And, that, and that's what it means to love Jesus. And that's what it means for God to love us, is for us to serve and be there to give to others, give, 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 when in reality, it was to be saved. Yes, part of service and in service, we are sanctifying our grace. You see, this whole means of sanctifying by grace are the things that continue to set us apart, make us holy in our faith in God. And some of us do it in a lot of ways. Some of us do it in teaching and preaching. Some of us can do it in singing. And some of us do it in serving. But really, Jesus came for us to answer that still small voice that we call prevenient grace and calls us into that, that Jesus is calling us home back. And when we then commit ourselves to Jesus in justify, justify, by, 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 by grace, then how do we live it out? How do we live out that salvation? See, because that's what Christianity is about. Anybody can do good things. Anybody can serve. But are you serving to be set apart in Christ? Are you serving as sanctifying grace? You see, we are justified in grace by our belief in the life, death, and resurrection of, of uh, Jesus. But then we're called to grow into our ministry, our Christian faith, and our Christian maturity, to grow into that. And that is what is called sanctify by grace. We find meaning in Jesus through how we live our lives for him. That's what we're doing. Serving is certainly one of the major ways. I love being in mission. In just the next week or so, our pastoral intern, Jeff, is going to Guatemala for the first time in three years, serving. But he's doing it, and we do it to be set apart in Jesus. That is why we do it, setting our lives apart for God, through Jesus, led by the Holy Spirit. So the question is, are you in the church just serving? Or are you in the church just sitting there? Or are you in the church of Jesus Christ living out your faith by serving God to grow in sanctification, which makes us closer to Jesus? Hopefully next week you're part of us here getting receiving ashes, beginning at 6.30 in the morning at, at, our, at our Melville Church on drive through 7 o'clock here at our Dorsey Church, and then celebrating with us all throughout Lent. Each and every time, each Wednesday, we'll have a new Lenten wor a, a worship for you on Wednesday night. Hope to see you back then.